Hello, welcome to the Met Office 10 day trend. Storm Eleanor has blown us into the new year and we'll see more wind and rain, at least at first over the next few days. But big changes are on the way over the next 10 days with high pressure building in. We're likely to see fewer storms and it's likely to turn much colder not nearly as cold as it's been across the North American continent. Brutally cold air here has been clashing against mild Atlantic air, fueling an active jet stream. Now, this fast flowing current of air high in the sky tends to pick up areas of low pressure at the surface, deepen them and send them across the Atlantic. And that's what it did on Tuesday night to storm Eleanor. It's now moving out of the way, but the next low pressure hot on her heels moving in for Thursday morning wind and rain to start the day across many places. Although the north of Scotland staying largely settled. It's been fairly dry here recently, but it's also cold. Five degrees on Thursday, 13 in the south. Now we keep just the rain stalling through these central areas as we end Thursday. Eventually it disappears before the next low pressure moves in for Friday. And this will bring bouts of wind and rain to England and Wales. Risk of gales in the far southwest, also a strengthening wind in the far north. And this is a northerly wind making it feel cold. Now, at this stage, interesting things are happening again on the other side of the Atlantic. We've still got cold air sat over North America, but we've also got this low pressure, a big beast of a low pressure forming on the eastern seaboard. And if we rewind the clock just a couple of days, you can see that low pressure formed out of nothing. It just deepened rapidly during Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And by Friday, it's sitting there on the northeast coast. It's also dragging up this very mild air in the West Atlantic. Now, that tends to buckle the jet stream, riding it high up to Greenland and then sending it shooting low again over the UK. Now, that means that we're going to see cold air sink southwards during Friday and into the start of the weekend. But it won't just be cold. We'll also see high pressure building. And for the weekend itself, well, high pressure will very much be in charge. It's going to feel much colder. And once we clear any cloud and rain from the south, first thing at the weekend, we'll see overnight frosts and a biting wind chill, particularly in the east. Into early next week, that high pressure holds firm. And in fact, by this stage, it's going to be a blocking anticyclone. Now, that means it tends to be such a vast area of high pressure that it blocks our usual wind and rain from the west. So we're unlikely to see more storms. But what we are likely to see is cold temperatures remaining into the start of next week. Easterly winds bringing perhaps a few flakes of snow to eastern shores, but for many places, it's dry. However, the Atlantic always wants to try and get through. And uh, there are some suggestions from various computer models that uh, it will win out on Tuesday and into Wednesday, sending weather fronts moving in, rain perhaps turning to snow. But many other computer models are suggesting that high pressure will just remain in charge, keeping these weather fronts well to the west and keeping us all in this relatively dry and cold airflow. So some want it mild and wet, but many others want it dry and cold throughout next week. And when the computer models are disagreeing and they are uh, not so reliable, we tend to look elsewhere for clues as to what will happen in our weather. Now, we use things like uh, global atmosphere around the world, tropical rainfall patterns, ocean temperature fluctuations. All of these things tend to give us clues as to how the weather will shape up at home. And there are many signals now that suggest that around the middle of January, we'll start to see a return of wind and rain from the Atlantic. But that's from the middle of January. Until then, the balance of probability suggests that high pressure will dominate throughout days seven to 10. It's more likely than not to stay cold. And it's more likely than not that many places will be dry. But there'll always be the Atlantic trying to push in. It's what we call a battleground situation. And when the Atlantic tries to push rain in from the west and it comes up against cold air, there is always the chance that we'll see some snow. But huge amount of uncertainty at this stage in terms of how long it will stay cold and whether we will see any rain, sleet and snow. Certainly one to watch over the next few days, and you can keep up to date with all the latest forecasts through the Met Office website, through our app, and via our social media channels. Bye-bye.